All right, so this is going to be the five-minute video. You ready, Jake? Mm -hmm. So after listening to the video yesterday of the uh, recto into the, uh, you know, using the axe effects as recto, I thought, man, maybe it's just a little too bright. So let me, here's the sound from yesterday with the tar back down to drop C sharp, max on 808 into that. To do is I'm gonna shut off the track. I'm just gonna track uh, 10 seconds of this. And we're gonna mess with it. Yeah. Oh. I love you. All right. I'll be in a few minutes. Here's the sound. Oh, solo, sorry. Here's the sound. I don't know, you know, I maybe it's not bright. I don't know. We're gonna just try something. So So what I did was if I go here, I got I'm playing at church this morning, so I'm a little what I did was, I did a copy paste. So if you come to presets, here's the preset from yesterday, which is JL Mono Recto. And then the one below is JL Mono Recto Top Down, which doesn't have the top down yet. I didn't touch anything, but I did that so that in case I realized like, ugh, the whole idea was a terrible experiment. <laughs> I can just delete it. So if I come here, this is what I was thinking. Let me try this. If I go to these tabs, right? So let's let's uh, let's mute everybody except for the LT7, LTTV7. This is the first uh, cab. This is uh, Leon Todd's TV mix set. High cut. Let's let's just do. Let's just like do eight. Back open. That may be actually cool. So let's do this. Let's bring back all these cabs just for now and we'll set them all right around the same right around one o'clock which is like you know 8k or so let's just try this okay okay so now all i've got i didn't change any of the settings in the amp itself pedals the same guitar is the same what we're going to do here is we're going to come here and we're going to do a little uh pre-roll cut into it so you can hear it really, really cascade across. Let's see. So here it is. So you'll see this first half here, the first couple of bars is going to be the regular and then you're going to see right here it's going to switch. Y'all watching? Y'all watching? I'll try to keep my my uh, camera out of the way there, my photo, my video, or whatever. It's a little better. Let's try this. Let's try this. Let's try cutting a little bit of the lows now. Let's try let's try cutting it at like around around kind of like that. Let's just try that. We're just gonna you know this is like as unscientific as it comes, but you know I'm not a scientist. Okay, so now we've got this kind of low cut 
high cut or low shelf, high shelf, whatever you want to call it. Okay, let's hear this. That might be nice too, right? Let's try it. So now this is like I I let I leaked a little more top end in and I cut lows below I don't know 50 or something. Here we go. So the beginning is gonna be uh the regular and then the, the cuts. I, I think it's cleaner. I mean, you know, I mean, obviously you can do that with a plug-in, but sometimes it's nicer to print it the way you want it. In my experience, just let like it left alone but that's just me right so here's you'll see the beginning is the uh, is the regular yeah, it, it, you know what I'll do this is what I'm gonna do and I could obviously dial this in maybe a little more but eh, maybe not now we'll go here. We'll just save this. So now I have a top top down, which I know is um, um, uh, top down. It's to top bot top bot down. So top top and bottom down. I'll know what that means. Yeah, and then you come here, and there it is. Make it purple. I always make my own profiles or presets purple. Well, there it is. Got to get to church. Got to tune up these guitars. Got to tune up this guitar. Again, I don't like lead. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let me, uh, let me kill this. I don't, I don't like leaving them in odd tunings. That's one thing I learned. The other thing, really, really huge is... If somebody's at your in your house, your studio, like they come to my place and play my stuff, always tell them, hey, tune it back to either standard or flat or open E, whatever it was. And also, people will have a tendency to leave capos on guitars. I've had sessions on like Fridays. I come in on Monday morning and I'm like, oh man, my Martin's <laughs> got a capo on it all weekend long. Like, nah, that ain't gonna work. So, yeah, no capos left over. That's just for me. I always feel like it could ding the neck. Plus, I just, I don't know, you know, unnecessary stuff bending, strings bending off the string, off the, you know, off the frets. Um, yeah. All right, we're not getting it in tune to the track. We're just getting it in tune to be in its normal tension state. And this is the, the this is the church axe. This is the the telly. This is a an ultra, but I pulled the pickups, so I'm not really into noiseless pickups. And it's uh, fresh strings. You know, I changed the tuning the tuning thing that I use now with the Helix. So the Helix has like two versions. It's got it's got two modes. It's got fine, which is like, you know, kind of uber strobe tunery dude. And then it's got like, you know, basic or coarse. 
which is just kind of a couple of like bars like going across. And so for like a year, I, I use that that strobe. I and I'm not like I I use the Peterson strobo stomp here. I like this strobe, but like because it, it's kind of like guitar player strobe. I don't know how to explain it. Like I couldn't imagine like trying to like look at a con strobe tuner while I'm working every day making music. Not not not. I'm not talking about intonating guitars. I'm talking about like making music. It's just like never perfect, and you know, it just drives you crazy. And what I found was the strobe tuner on the uh, Helix. I don't know, man. It just it was no matter what I did. Like if I tuned it, it was perfect, and I went like this. Then I went and tried it again. It was like things were like I was like. I was like, this is crazy. Because, you know, it makes you a little nutty. So I went on the Helix back to the, like, coarse tuner, the more laid back. And honestly, I like it a lot better. I tune a lot faster. And my guitar is actually in better tune. I think the strobe tuner was just, just for live setting, it was just, it was just too... I don't want to say sensitive, but it was just too much. It was too, it was just too weird and too touchy, and it just yeah, it wasn't good for me anyway. So, so yeah, look, we'll play it one more time. Here's uh, here's uh, the first couple of bars are the regular, and then the cut. The cuts are probably a little better. It's it cleans a little of the. It's not as it, it just it's a little. The whole thing just feels tighter. Um, I don't know. Maybe I played it tighter. Church time. <laughs> 